Decoding Exclusion, an English phrase unraveled. Hello, dear learners. Today, we are diving deep into an interesting English phrase, exclusion. By the end of this video, you'll understand what it means, when to use it, and some examples to illustrate its usage. So, let's embark on this linguistic journey together. Exclusion is derived from the verb, exclude, which means to deliberately leave someone or something out or not include them. In essence, when you exclude, you are separating or not allowing something or someone to be involved. Understanding any word or phrase is much easier with context. Here are some sentences where exclusion is used. 1. The exclusion of children under 18 means they can't enter the competition. 2. Members made a list of possible guests for the party, with the exclusion of Mike. 3. The contract states the exclusion of any claims made after 30 days. Each of these examples shows a situation where someone or something is deliberately left out or not included. Knowing synonyms can enrich your vocabulary and provide alternative words to use in various contexts. Here are some synonyms for exclusion. Omission, rejection, elimination, expulsion. While these words can be used in place of exclusion, in certain scenarios, it's essential to understand the subtle differences and nuances between them. Sometimes, words are part of commonly used phrases that have their unique meanings. Here are a few with exclusion. 1. Exclusion zone. An area where access is restricted, often for safety or security reasons. 2. Exclusion clause a part of a contract that specifies certain conditions that are not covered. 3. Mutual exclusion. Often used in computing, it refers to situations where only one user or process can access a resource at a given time. Understanding these phrases can help you grasp the versatility of the term, exclusion. Thank you for joining us today in exploring the phrase exclusion. Remember, Language is a tool, and the more words and phrases you understand, the better equipped you are to express yourself. We hope this video has been enlightening, and we wish you all the best in your English language journey.